If you are into public speaking, you've probably heard this many, many times before. You've got to be authentic. You've got to be vulnerable. When people start off speaking for the first time, they're extremely afraid of presenting in public. This is very commonplace. As we know, one of the most common fears in the world. And so people play it safe. But so long as you continue to play it safe, as you gain in experience, you're not going to grow much as a speaker. You have to be willing to take a risk. You have to be able to be that much willing to be, to be vulnerable, to tell things that perhaps have hurt you and might very well be commonplace in the listeners. You think you're the only one that this has happened to. But we know that so many experiences are common to us all. And we must be willing to be able to show their, our innermost self, how we feel about the world, how we feel about ourselves, how we feel about people particularly close to us. We need to be able to do this if we are to grow. If you watch TED and TEDx talks, you will find that the most popular ones, the ones that might even have millions of views, are those where peace people have told something interesting, but also told a story, a personal story out of their lives, which has reached the audience. The audience identifies with it. This is what we must be willing to do. It isn't easy. I know it isn't easy. I know one particular presentation, it took me many, many years, decades in fact, to be able to get up the courage and present one short five to seven minute speech about something which deeply affected my life. If you are willing to do that, once you've taken that huge step, the other steps don't seem quite as high. You can continue. You don't mind putting it all out there. Now, what do I mean putting it out there? I mean not just having a, a rant, not just trying to get sympathy out of your story, but conveying something which has deeply affected you, which you hope will release something in them, your listeners. Bring them some sort of feeling of, yes, that's happened to me, and now I'm willing to tell others about it. You're doing a great service if you are willing to be able to put yourself on the line to the extent where you motivate others to do the same. We all have hang-ups, we all have traumas, we all have inner angst and this causes all of us trouble to greater or lesser degree. The more you can help your listeners to be able to feel easier in their lives, happier, more joyful because they're willing to get that angst out, get rid of it, the greater the speaker you really are.